Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use Strava tracking app. So this is going to be a tutorial for beginners. But before we start, hurry up and check out the software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, how do you start using the Strava tracking app here? Well, using the app is fairly easy. So the first thing that you want to do here is you want to go ahead and open up the Strava app here. Now, if you haven't installed yet, go ahead and open up Google Play Store. Just search Strava and you should be able to see the install option. Now from here, you could choose two options. So if you don't have an account yet, you could choose the join for free. But if you already have an account, just click on login. Now, signing up is fairly easy. Just follow the on-screen steps and you should be good. But in this case, I want to click on login here since I already have my account. And I want to choose my way off, or in this case, the way I actually created my account. Now, since I use my Google account, let's go ahead and click on continue with Google. And from here, it's going to sign me in and start using the app itself. Now, there are going to be five things or five sections here that I give you on the Strava app. So first is we have our homepage, which in this case will include the general information about your account. Like, for example, your weekly Snapchat or snapshot here. Now, if you click on see more here, it's going to give you more information about your progress. So that includes the progress you have this week. And if you want to unlock more, or in this case, if you want to track more into your activities, you can click on subscribe now to get their plan. Now, if you go to activities here, you have the option to choose what type of activity. Like, for example, maybe uh, we could go ahead and search for an activity that we just recently did. But in this case, uh, that's how you view your uh, homepage here, which is your weekly Snapchat. Now, uh, we also have the following options here. Like, for example, you might want to join the Strava Club here. It's going to give you some suggestions that you might want to do here. Like, for example, we have the uh, run with a keep, uh, uh, key, keep coach challenge here so if you want to join the challenge or use the challenge here just click on join challenge and it will be automatically added into your challenges now in this case we also have a few notifications here that we give you like different posts like for example this user actually did a half marathon and includes the distance the place and the time itself on what they did now, the sh the sh you basically, Strava here is like a social media that you could use, but not entirely a social media platform. But it actually allows you to see how people are doing, uh, what are their progress. Though in, in this case, you could also share your progress if you want to. Now, if you go to Maps here, this actually allows you to see your map. But we first need to allow the uh, location permission here. So in this case, you go and click on the wall using the app option. Now, in this case, you should be able to see your map and your current location. In this case, you can change the view for this if you want to have, like, for example, if you want to have a static view or a hybrid, you can change that if you want to. And it will be automatically updated as you can see right now. now you can also choose the 3D option here, which gives you the option to view this in 3D if you want, which is something. If you prefer something here or prefer a certain view, you can use it. But we want to use 2D here. And from here, let's go and exit that. And from here, we could basically do the following. So in this case, so in here, we could search different routes, different locations. So just basically have a general idea on what routes that you might want to use. So in this case, it's going to give you different suggestions here. As you can see, this is what is the suggested route for mine. So you could follow this if you want to. And also, you could search for specific locations here if you want to plan ahead. Now, in this case, that is the map section. Now, if you go to record here, this actually allows you to basically start recording your run or in this case, whatever you want to do. So in this case, for example, if you go to the bottom left here, you will have the option to basically create your own routes. But to, for in order for you to create your own routes here, you need to go to the web browser of the app. So it's just travel.com slash routes slash new. Now, if you want to create your route, that's how you do it. Now, in this case, if you want to change your activity, like for example, you're not running, you're doing something else, you can go and click on the icon next to the route option here. And you have the foot sports here. We have trail run, walk, hike, wheelchair, ride, mountain bike ride. So you could choose whatever way or whatever um, activity you're doing here. Now, you also have the option to track your, in this case, or use sensors in your 
app here, which in this case, you can connect your running cadence here if you want to. So if you want to connect that, just click on the not connected here. Just click on allow here for them to start uh, uh, recording your activity. Let's go and click on dismiss here, but you just need to follow the on-screen steps for you to start using it. Now we also have the uh, the location sharing option here for Strava. So if you want to notify different people, just in case that hey I'm running this specific location, or if that location is quite remote, they'll have a way for you to, or they'll have a, a way for them to track you. Uh, but yeah, in this case, if you want to share this to your friends or your family, you can go ahead and basically uh, share your you basically turn on the beacon for mobile here and just follow the on-screen steps for you to uh, set up the sh uh, location sharing here. Let's go ahead and click on this card. Now, in this case, the great thing about Strava here is it actually also allows you to play music. So at the bottom right, you have the option to uh, add or play music from Spotify if you want to. You just need to click on the play button here to start listening. And from then on, it should actually redirect you to Spotify and, and allows you to connect your Shopify, uh, your Spotify account. But yeah, let's go and go back here. Now, we also have the group section, which in this case, you have the option to view your clubs if you want to join a specific club here. So in this case, we have the uh, different clubs or popular clubs near my area. So you have the King of Mountain, Com Defender, and a lot more. So if you want to join them, you just need to uh, basically click on the join button here. It's going to uh, allow us to join that. Now, if you go to challenges here, this will actually show you different challenges that you could do for your account. So in this case, we have the following. So if you want to join that again, you can go and click on join. And basically, that will be added into your challenges. Now, if you go to active here, it actually allows you to design your own challenge, which in this case, we have our clubs here, some of the challenges that we added or use or added in our account. And yeah. So in this case, this is the challenge that we just recently got here, like the first time we do. And it's going to give us the date or a specific information about the challenge, like the date range for the challenge and the com the accompli or the requirement for the accomplish accomplishment here and uh, the reward or the trophy for this. Now, in this case, there are going to be so further information here. So depending on the information here, you may get something. So in this case, for this challenge, like for example, if you complete the challenge, for uh, you get a chance to win a Kip uh, Coach Co-Brand Open Run Pro 2. So yeah, if you complete this challenge, you have the possibility of winning a specific prize. Now, if you go to you here, it will give you like what we saw before, the uh, general information about yourself. So that includes your this week's uh, data run. So if you click on run, uh, as you can see, this is what we did for the last week. If you did other activities, it's going to show more and it will allow you to click on a specific activity and see your progress on how much you did on that specific activity. Now, at the top right, you also have the uh, icons that you see that we have the profile icon, which allows you to give you or just give you further details about yourself. Like for example, if you want to edit your profile, you could go and click on the pencil icon here, change a few things, and let's go to this card here. We also have the our activities here, our statistics, our segments, best efforts, posts, any gear that you did, and your club. Now, we also have the gear icon, which includes us updating our settings or the settings that we could basically change in our account or in our phone here. That includes our changing our email, managing the apps and devices of, of, on our account, the appearance here, and the privacy controls. Now, if you want to uh, change the who can see your private uh, profile page here, you can send this to followers only or everyone. So if you want to make it a lot private, but yeah. So in this case, those are the basics that you could use or you need to know here in order for you to start using the Strava tracking app. And that's about it. So, if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.